C2 at kailangan daw nating magsulat or to write the first four terms of this particular sequence. And to do that, all we need to do is to plug in the value of numbers 1 to 4 doon sa N para makuha natin yung first four terms. So sa first sequence natin, A sub N is equal to 3 and minus 2. Kailangan natin ng A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, and A sub 4 to produce the first four terms of the sequence. So for A sub 1, just substitute the value of 1 to n. So you have 3 times 1 minus 2 which gives you 1. And then patuloy-tuloy nyo lang ulitin yung process. Basta papalitan nyo yung n ng 2, 3, and 4 kasi ang kailangan natin is four, first 4 terms ng sequence. At dito sa sequence na to, ang first 4 terms will be 1, 4, 7, and 10. At yan yung isa sa mga paraan kung paano natin mapuproduce yung mga specific number of terms sa isang sequence. At sa example number 2 naman, meron tayong a sub n is equal to 3 plus negative 1 raised to n. At ang mapapansin nyo, yung uh, variable natin o yung n is now our exponent. So to evaluate our sequence and to find the first four terms ng 3 plus negative 1 through the n, a sub 1 is 3 plus negative 1 raised to 1. Kasi nire-replace natin yung n ng 1 at uulitin natin siya 4 times kasi kailangan natin ng first 4 terms kaya meron tayong 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now to evaluate each term dun sa sequence, 3 plus negative 1 squared will give you 3 minus 1 which gives you 2. At yung pangalawa naman, 3 plus negative 1 squared, negative 1 times negative 1 will give you positive, kaya 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. And yung a sub 3 will give you 2 and a sub 4 will give you 4. So ang ating first 4 term ng ating sequence na to will be 2, 4, 2, 4. So, yan yung pag-evaluate or pagsulat ng uh, specific number of terms ng isang sequence base sa solution na pinakita ko. Isa sa mga operations sa sequence na mahalaga yung matutunan ay yung factorial. Ang factorial notation, denoted by the exclamation point right here, in mathematics, ang uh, ibig sabihin nito or ang operation na factorial, it's let's say if n is a positive integer, then n factorial is 1 times 2 times 3 all the way through n minus 1 times n. So ang specific examples ko, kung paano mag-evaluate ng factorial, let's say you have 0 factorial, ang 0 factorial is equal to 1. Parang similar yan sa... Uh, property na exponent na any number raised to uh, 0 will give you 1. So sa factorial, meron din, siya, meron din siyang ganun property. So 0 factorial eh hindi 0, yun ay equal to 1. At ang 1 factorial will be 1. At ang 2 factorial will be 1 times 2, which gives you 2. At ang 3 factorial will be 1 plus 2, I mean 1 times 2 times 3, which gives you 6. And 4 factorial will be 24. And 5 factorial will be 120. So lumalaki yung mga number kapag ka malaki yung given um, term or number na ginagamit nyo to evaluate factorial. Kaya kung interesado kayo malaman kung ano yung value ng 12 factorial, ang 12 factorial will give you 479 million. 1,600. So, ganyan mag-evaluate ng factorial for single number at dun sa mga susunod ko examples, mag-evaluate naman tayo ng factorial sa isang uh, expression tulad ng mga nasa examples na ibibigay ko. Now, here are some examples of how you present factorials in some mathematical problems. So, sa letter A, meron tayong 8 factorial all over 2 factorial times 6 factorial. Now, to simplify our expression, kailangan nyo lang gamitin or i-expand uh, yung mga factorial notation nyo and then magka-cancel kayo ng mga numbers na pwede natin i-cancel. So, for letter A, Meron tayong 8 factorial, so meron tayong 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So multiply yung lahat yan, yan yung sagot for 8 factorial. So sa so 2 factorial, we have 2 times 1. And 6 factorial, we have 6 times 5 all the way through 1. Now, sa pag-evaluate ng factorial, pwede nyo i-multiply to lahat by using a calculator, then multiply nyo rin to lahat by using a calculator, and you'll get your answer. Or, kung wala kayong calculator, you can cancel some of the terms like 1 and 1. You can cancel it out. 
two, three, four, five, six. So, kinancel ko sila lahat kasi uh, mag-equal to one lang naman sila lahat. And then, matitira, matitira ko ng eight times seven and two times one. 8 times 7 divided by 2 will give you 28. So therefore, your acting expression na 8 factorial all over 2 factorial times 6 factorial is simply equal to 28 pag in-evaluate natin siya. At for letter B, meron tayong 2 factorial times 6 factorial all over 3 factorial times 5 factorial. So tulad ng ginawa ko dito sa letter A, i-expand ko yung bawat term ko. So I have 2 factorial, 6 factorial, 3 factorial, and 5 factorial. Now cancel nyo yung mga common terms because it's just gonna be equal to 1. Kaya ang matitira na lang sa'yo will be 1 times 6 and 3 times 1. So 1 times 6 divided by 3 times 1 will give you 6 all over 3 or simply equal to 2.